Why teach social emotional learning in physical education? Simple. Research shows that social emotional learning programs have both immediate and long term impacts on mental health, social skills, and academic performance. And if that's not enough, here's some messages from some of my favorite physical educators with some rationale as to why we should incorporate social emotional learning in physical education. Two out of every five Americans report being lonely and without someone to confide in. A study by Brigham Young University found that social isolation increases our risk of death by 32%. Students report a lack of connection as one of their reasons to dropping out. Loneliness is as risky to our health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. We crave connection, and when we don't have it, we find ways to get it, and often in unhealthy ways. Loneliness has been linked to violence towards oneself and others. Research shows that fubbing or phone snubbing, because it is associated with lower relationship satisfaction, contributes to greater feelings of depression. Here's an alarming statistic. 80% of American youth today in grades 6 through 8 feel that they have experienced abuse in social media or other forms of technology. Whoa. Kids are so disconnected and angry, they turn to violence against their community and themselves. It's no coincidence that mass shooting and suicide rates are skyrocketing. As physical educators, we have an opportunity, maybe even a responsibility, to include social emotional learning in physical education classes. Hopefully you can join us on Monday, March 4th at 9 p.m. Eastern time to learn how you might be able to incorporate social emotional learning in your physical education classes.